and not holding the head from which all the body by joints and bands, having nourishment ministered and knit together, increaseth with the increase of God. Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why has though living in the world are ye subject to ordinances? Touch not, take not, handle not, which all are to perish with using after the commandments and doctrines of men, which things have indeed a show of wisdom in the will, worship and humility and neglecting of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. Chapter 3, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid of Christ and God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fortification, uncleanliness, and ordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things are safe, the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, and for which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them. But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, saying that ye have put off the old man of his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is the renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved vows of mercies, kindness, humbleness, of mind, meekness, of long suffering, forbearing one another, forbearing one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, the which also you are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you, and virtually in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing or grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in a word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, for giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as it is fit in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives, and be not bitter against them. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing unto the Lord. Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with your eye service, as men pleases, but in the singleness of heart, fearing God. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, as to the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. But he that doth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. Chapter 4. Masters, give unto your servants that which is just and equal, knowing that ye also have a master in heaven, continuing in prayer and watching the same with thanksgiving. With all praying also for us that God would open unto the door of us to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in the bonds, that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without redeeming the time. Let your speech be always of grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer of every man. All my state shall entice you, declare unto you, who is the loved brother and faithful minister and fellow servant to the Lord, whom I have sent unto you from the same purpose, that he might know your estate and comfort your hearts with one Simus, a faithful and beloved brother, who is one of you. They shall make known unto you all things which are done here. Aristocarpus, my fellow prisoner, saluteth you, and Marcus, sister's son to Barnabas, touching whom you receive commandments, if he come unto you, receive him. Now Jesus, which is called Justice, who are of the circumcision, these are only are my fellow workers unto the kingdom of God, which have been a comfort unto me. Epaphras, who is one of you, a servant of Christ, saluteth you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers, that you may stand perfect and complete in the will of God. For I bear him right through that he hath the great zeal for you, and them that are in Laodicea, and them in Hyrielapolis. Luke, the beloved physician, and Demos, the great to you, salutes the brethren which are in Haleo, Laodicea, and Nymphas, and the church which is in his house. And when the epistle is read among you, cause that it be read also in the church of the Laodiceans, and that ye likewise read the epistle from Laodicea. 
and say unto Archippus, Take heed to the ministry which thou hast received from the Lord, that thou fulfillest the salute, the salute, salutation by the hand of me, Paul. Remember my bonds. Grace be with you. Amen.